Well, good morning, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's Models here. And I got sent these pictures from a Glue Trooper of a 124 scale Airfix Spitfire that a friend of his is building. Now, I did have a 124 scale Hawker Hurricane about, good gosh, 30 years ago. But unfortunately, I never got to build it. I didn't have a place to put it. And I wound up selling the kit. But I did watch some reviews that said it was an okay kit but it had some fit issues and there were definitely some problems with it well apparently these new airfix 124 scale kits have uh, fixed these problems that are coming in as pretty highly rated and incredibly detailed as you can see by all of the parts on the runner trees so uh, these are pictures that were sent to me this is not my kit and uh, i found it very interesting that during the unboxing of this kit uh, the person who's making this model took time to dry fit everything and uh, it's just amazing that the kit goes together this well apparently without any glue this is largely dry fitting and uh, this is a very experienced model maker likes to dry fit everything in advance which if you've got the patience and the skill is a great thing to do but I have to admit I'm blown away by the detail of this thing and of course we gotten kind of spoiled with the detail with modern models that are made with uh, modern molds made with modern techniques that are just amazingly detailed right down to the single pieces of ammunition and I think this is going to be a fantastic model once it's done I know it's an expensive kit but you're getting a lot for your money I hope to get some pictures of it once uh, this builder is completed with it so I don't know if any of you guys have built these big 124 scale uh, Airfix kits, but if you have, I'd be interested to know what your impressions of them were. It's kind of nice that uh, they're in 124 scale because there are a lot of 124 scale vehicles out there. And that leaves all kinds of uh, diorama opportunities if you, you know, have five square feet uh, to display the thing. <laughs> but uh, there's something to be said for size. My general experience has been with things like with the Blue Devil Destroyer that when you get really big, uh, often surprisingly detail goes downhill. It's like the manufacturers are just focusing on size, but not here. I mean, they've got everything right down to the little wing nut fasteners and it is some impressive stuff. This project would probably take, I would imagine six months for uh, a serious model builder if they want to detail everything. But then you're stuck with, well, do I, want to display the model with all this fantastic detail where you can see it or to want to make a beautiful looking Spitfire and put it on the shelf. I, it, it's just one of those things. I think I'd probably make the engine as a side display myself, but I'm just guessing. I, I just hate to put all that work in engine and not show it, but when you display a model with all the cowlings off and everything, it loses its beautiful lines. Oh, the never ending debate on how to display. Well guys, uh, that's what I have for this morning. Uh, take care of yourselves and as always, Model on.